great to be able to welcome Lee Benson and Brian Travers to the base session. I mean, we spoke to you, didn't we, Brian, a couple of weeks, couple ago, of weeks ago, and you were kind of a little bit kind of embarrassed and almost outside your comfort zone with this. Art. You know, to be honest, it's it's just me. I try to I try to not take myself too seriously. I yeah. do take the work seriously, whatever we do. And uh, there isn't a single. I mean, these look like I'm drip paint, dropped cans of paint, something. But there isn't a single mark that I didn't mean. And uh, and if I go too far with them, I paint over them and start again. And oh, as Lee will tell you, some of the paint is incredibly heavy because there's about 33 kilos of paint on them. <laughs> but uh, I've, I've always painted, and uh, I do I do paint representation. I do you know I do paint stuff. And I'm just kind of of a frame of mind now. Take a photograph or make a film if you're gonna if, you, if okay. that's what you want to do. It's all draftsmanship, really, to me. Now, let me come yeah. over to Lee, because... Well, I come like, along, yeah. right? So there he is telling you what he does. I come into his studio and garage, and I go, wow. And he's going, as you say, keeps on trying to knock himself back, and he shouldn't. Yeah. But he's been so close to his paintings for the last three, four, five years, however long. And this body of work, I've pulled out, and we put them all out on the floor, and we look at and going, I see an exhibition here. So I'm yeah. able to be that one removed from it. Yeah, yeah. Sharing the nerves of the first night here, by the way, because there's a great <laughs> crowd turning out. Okay. And this is a great example of how four separate paintings, this was all on the floor. He paints the background, this great yeah. big piece yeah. here. This is Chameleon, Brian, isn't it? This yeah. is Chameleon. Yeah. He paints on all this stuff. It was a huge piece. And he was going to have it as a, people can walk over my art. Uh, uh, I want you to put it in my no, floor, you know. No, <laughs> yeah. people are not going to walk over your art. This would make I don't, a great but I don't feel that's disrespectful. I mean, you know, they were on the floor. Oh. I didn't mean any paint yeah. to go on them. It's right. just, you know, yeah, someone tell, buys it, can we can dance on it. Can we <laughs> tell, tell us the story behind this one, Brian? Because I like this story. Well, you know, I mean, I, I generally paint to music, or this show I painted to music. It's all the red and yellow and black ones. They're all about Spain, they're about sketches of Spain, Miles Davis's yeah, album, yeah. you made with Gil Evans. And, you know, just the colours of Spain, the passion that's it, that comes out of their culture, and, and flamenco, and... The red for the ball. Yeah, it's like, it hurts to paint, because, you know, you have to wait for the paint to dry. But I play the records when I'm playing them. Yeah. Well, Grace Jones, I've always, I've always loved this girl. She's a great girl. She's a friend of yours. Kind of. I've got, I haven't got a phone number, but, yeah, I love her, you know. <laughs> but if you, you walk into a club anywhere in the world, and if Grace is there, you're not going to see her straight away because she becomes whatever the vibe of the club is or whatever the vibe of the scene is but when she wants to shine it just turns it on and so there's grace <laughs> and i try to hide her in a lot of paints and people and and things and uh, it's just a bit of a nod to her really she's such a lovely girl you know loves art and believes in art so. yeah uh, the sound system series is another one as well yeah there's a, there's a few examples here we've got the uh, the dub wise series as well yeah uh, i mean i know that you paint you paint in the music i love the kind of reggae colors over there sure and, uh, well I mean, I'm not a Rastafarian, but the red, gold and green thing has been a big part of our culture, yeah, really. You know, yeah. all our pals, our young mates, black mates discovering their heritage and themselves and, and diving into the Rastafarian thing, which is a, is a lovely, peaceful culture anyway. And um, although I'm not a Rastafarian, those colours uh, resonate with me. Yeah. And I've always loved reggae and I've loved the sound system, which is generally, you know, pitch black and you just get pure sound in your face, hitting <laughs> you in lines and... Uh, and I was just trying to trying to describe that in yeah. colour at all, and uh, it may be a bit simple, but um, I'm going to take over here. Yeah, go on, describe the painting. What Brian's able to do is three-dimensionalise a flat image. Yeah. So those yeah. colours are coming out, and yeah. you you can sense, you, you can, can feel, feel it, it, yeah, you yeah, feel it yeah. going through you. And I think he actually captures it really well. As a simplicity, to I believe in the simplicity of lines and marks, and you know, although they look very complicated, they're actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, t today we've got like, this is the kind of the Jackson Pollock, Jack the Dripper kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you do other stuff as well, don't you, Brian? I mean, sure, I'll I paint representation. I'm, I'm going to dive back in now. I'm really encouraged by the day, thank you, man. And, uh, and <laughs> we'll start painting again. Then, yeah. Volume 2. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to go back to basics and just start painting nudes, to be honest. You know? <laughs> no, so I asked Joe well, Malian, have you ever been painted? She said, no. <laughs> I said, I'll paint you, yeah, but you've got to be naked. And, <laughs> you know, that was the end of that interview. And. Um, <laughs> You mean you're going to drip paint all over it? I like, oh, it. I yeah. like it. I'm going to paint no. nude women. Paint them, throw paint on them. Uh, There's quite a few people turning up tonight. I mean, this, this, you, I mean, as I said, we've talked about it. He was outside his comfort zone. He was a little bit worried about it. There's yeah. a huge, huge interest in it. Um, and and it's, it's a wet day. And there's a lot it's of people pouring in Birmingham. Trying to be fashionably late outside because we've seen quite a few faces out there. Uh, is a man taking a photograph? If they're going to be fashionably late. <laughs> oh, I'm ruining that in I'm sorry. Yeah. I think no. we're, we're actually having to turn people away because um, all the invites were handwritten. Yep. which was great. People are ringing up saying, we want to come, we want to come. And actually, they're enjoying the art. So yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's all positive. And it's actually, really what, what Brian said to me when I first came in was, 
art is a way of having a conversation with a stranger. And that was I, I really believe it. You know, any form of expression, you know, music, art, dance, like, whatever form it takes, you're really having a conversation with people you don't know. And you're asking them what they think. You're not asking them, do you like this? You're asking them, what do you think? And, yeah. I mean, an art expression is completely led by freedom of choice. No one has to go to a gig or a gallery or buy a record. Or, you can go to a gig, you don't have to clap if you don't yeah, like it. Yeah, and, it's, yeah. and it's a wonderful relationship well, with made strangers. That, you've made that choice to be there wherever you can be in the whole world. Hopefully, yeah, yeah. You know, it's essential for me now, you know. I'm going to butt in. You can't get a word in with this man, can you? It really is <laughs> no, good. No, no, no. What is important... It's years of training, man. <laughs> what is important is, when that man's got a sax in front of him, he's yeah. the man with his sax. Yeah. And while I'm getting the real kick out of this show, is this man's life is on the wall in front of you. He has yeah. nothing to defend himself apart from himself. Yeah. That's why he's worried. All these <laughs> stories are Brian. They're all yeah. Yeah. his yeah. life. And yeah. it, it, it shows through really well. Yeah. So I suppose it's down to the thing, you know. You know, the, one, one of the toughest things to be is a pop musician, to make pop records, because it, people either hate him, love him or hate him. When they hate him, they hate everything about him. They hate the way he yeah, look, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's so, so difficult to shift genres, you know. It's, you know, like I remember when Sting started acting, and people were going, but what are you, a musician or an actor? But he's an artist, he's expressing yeah, yeah, himself. Yeah, he's creative, isn't he? Whatever yeah. means he can. And, and I, I, th I think maybe I'm trapped in the past. I think we're, people are more sophisticated now. Young people are more sophisticated, how to see art. Most people beco are becoming artists now, they're specialists of some form or another. Every kid wants to be a rapper or a, a musician or a hip hop artist. And, and I think they're, they're a more sophisticated audience now. Back in the 80s, I mean, people were a bit stiffer, you know, it was, everything was bagged. Yeah, you bought yeah, the albums yeah, that matched yeah, your youth yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, like but you're into heavy metal, no, but you're yeah, dressed no, like a, yeah. a skinhead. You know, yeah, you can't like punk, you can't like mod. You, you, like you couldn't jump genre. Or, Too many people, though, download and you can't see the art. Well, you only have no. visualisation, little sound bites. And, and did, this is bringing it back to well, a level where it's at. And I did say to Brian earlier, this kind of stuff, it's OK as a print, but when you see the real thing, that's when it jumps out the texture. And there's a real point. I'm still a socialist. Right. I really am. I'm a bit of a champagne one. That's true. But they're very cheap. I mean, they honest. Are. I can't well, let him hear this. Don't we've done that I'll give you one. We've made these very inexpensive. That's why you said that. Yeah. On, now, on the basis, like on the basis that uh, no, it's, a, it's a painting. That's all. You know, it's a, this isn't an investment for the future. It's a cover, a, cover a damp spot, spot on your wall. Or, if you love it and you can, and you can enjoy it yeah. every day, then that's what it's We've about. made it affordable for young people. Yeah. Yeah. This is really yeah. affordable. Yeah. Yeah. It should be dearer, but it works. I mean, I do paint more seriously. Yeah, I'm painting you like these, don't you? Yeah, I do I paint the love sound. The, I love the orange ones, by the way. That's called Get Up Stand Up. Yeah, Stand Up for Your All race. the orange ones <laughs> are about revolution. <laughs> that's why I love it. Havana. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah. We're gonna wrap it's all it up. about revolution. We're uh, gonna let you go and talk to all these people tonight. Enjoy it, guys. Base Studios, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Base Studios, Starbridge.